Red 2 standing by, all for this, and in the green, welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker, where we are adventuring through the Tower of the Gods today. Or choose. Good, it can drop into the depths. So, this platform. Whoa! No! Bad move. Knew as soon as I jumped, it wasn't what I needed to do. Should I take an arm off with? I have a feeling I should take an Armos with me. There's something down around that corner. I think it's a switch for the bow. Right, so... Drop that. So, this has got to be for the bow. Slowly making our rupees back. All oh, right, a platform of light. Ah, a statue. So, seeker of the goddess's guidepost, press R to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Link will actually speak, which is pretty nifty. So these weird statues will wind up following us. Come on. So we have to navigate it. We can't carry it all the way. It moves about as fast as you'd expect for a statue. But we will have to carry it through the next room. And over here. Alright, buddy. Let's lift you. And might as well jump. And jump to this. Can't do anything about that yet, but we will be able to later on. Once we get the bow, I believe. So the statue will make its way to its place of truth. Rise up. And in the bright light, we get music. We're going to learn a new song. There, there appear to be markings that indicate specific directions, so let's grab. So we need to hold left on the control stick. To d conduct in 4 4 time, I nearly said direct. So, we are learning the command melody. Alright, we get another door. And the statue talks. My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their places of truth to open the path to the gods. Alright! And that disappears in a blinding light! But now we have the ability to control people! This means that I can use this melody to possess them and take all the money in their bank accounts! Excellent. Excellent! I'll be rich beyond my wildest dreams! Nice, we got rid of those. We need to grapple here. Alright. We need to use the statue as well. We need to swing across this room. Oh, I made it. So we need to use the statue to pin that down. And then... Okay, so... Hang on. Let's see if this works. 
All right, time to possess our first object. There is nothing. Damn it. There is a grappling hook button. Well, I'm intelligent, aren't I? Radio. The statue, we can get the statue down and now we can take it with us. This one has horns. This one kind of, these kind of look a little ominous for godly statues. This one kind of looks like it's a devil or something. It's got, it's got either goat horns or sick handlebars. So, there's our bridge of light. And now we can possess the statue. Take a look at Link. It's just vibing there. Alright, so they've finally made a statue of me. I don't think I can run off the edge and I don't want to. Well, slowly but surely, we make our way over there and... Now that I've possessed the statue over there, we can just grapple back. Quick flight across, pick up our statue, and then we have to use it to pin down this. That opens the door because we're going to need... What was that rumbling noise? Hey. Lunk, it is I, the King of Red Lions. I'm afraid there are some areas to which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. But do not fear leaving them behind. Once you have awakened them, they will wait patiently for your return. Of this, I assure you. Okay, how do you actually know that? How does he actually know that? It's a really good question in all fairness. How does he actually know some of this stuff? He's pretty knowledgeable for just a talking boat. Alright. Better heal. That's a rupee. Is that a heart? Alright. In we go. There's nothing in there, but this is our mini boss room. This is a dark nut, and they are tough. You're going to need to be patient and use your counter-attacks. Rushing in will get you killed. You will need to use your counter to break their... to wind up breaking their armour. Quickly use your... your grappling hook to definitely steal their knight's crest if you'd like. And they're powerful on top of that. Right. Now you can steal their blades. They are smart enough to get out of your way. If you steal their swords. Where is he? They will come at you with unarmed combat, and they're damn good at it. So, you must exercise a lot of caution, which I haven't done. They are strong, they are athletic, they are capable, and they can also, which I forgot to do, Counter your spin attack with one of theirs. This is actually really handy if you're fighting multiple opponents, and a Dark Knight is among them. Basically, what you do is get out of the way, charge up your spin attack, and let loose. They'll probably wind up taking out a few enemies. But now, we have the bow. We got the hero's bow, set it to YZRX, and yada yada yada. We can carry up to 30 arrows. 
So, nothing we can shoot in here. But, if we uh, launch an arrow right across here... We can go a little low. Oh, come on. Third time's the charm. Those platforms will appear, and we should probably... Now... Your boomerang won't do anything to bubbles. But if I get my shot... Damn it. If I get my shot right... The bow will take them out. That's a lot of clunking. Screw this, I'm just blowing it out of the air. Now I need to get the grappling hook out again, and... Yep, nothing has changed. I still am a graduate from Stormtrooper School. Alright, we're too far away. Right, so that's basically how we do this one. We stop... And then we can take the statue across. See how it is waiting for us? That nearly didn't work. Hey, buddy. Miss me? We're going to have to deal with Armos a bit more, too. So they were starting to come at us. But basically, to defeat an Armos, you can circle around behind them and hit them in that jewel on the back. That will destroy. That will allow you to destroy them. You can stun them by shooting them in the eye with an arrow. Right, next door's open. Eventually. But I can also go back down and get the treasure chart. Which I probably should do. Give me a tick. Aha! So, couple of arrows and that will dispatch them. Now, if I get my shot right, nice, need to get my timing just right, good that does go up, hopefully I get some arrows because I'm a terrible shot and I'm wasted half of them already, what's in here? Oh, Armos Knights! So, Armos Knights are basically just bigger Armos. To kill them, shoot them in the eye, or wait for them to open their mouth. Then throw a bomb in there. They're fairly dangerous sometimes. But... Now, this should be a treasure chart. It is not. It is a thing we are meant to do. It's a key. Or it's a joy pendant or something cheap. Alright, we're maxed out. It th All that for a joy pendant? I am... I am... Game, I am disappointed. I am extremely disappointed. That's a pretty shoddy reward. I should be able to just cruise around nicely. And there we go. Let's get... Did I go the right way? No, I went the wrong way. Uh... 
Yeah, I definitely went the wrong way. Well, I sort of went the right way. And I had no momentum. That was not good. Hang on a moment. And there's how we get that treasure chest. I still haven't been able to work out what on earth that platform up in the top of the room that leads to the second floor is meant to be. There's no switch. There's just that temperamental BMOS. Unless having the BMOS active makes it do something. Ah, Armos. So, that's how you defeat Armos. You can either shoot them in the uh, in that eye, or you can just circle around them. Let's get back. Statues are still there. Let's go to the next room. Well, that works. That works. So, weights and measures. There's a room down here. Now, if I'm careful. Always lasts a little bit longer than I think. Which is not a sentence that's said very often. Right, I'm just... Okay. Alright, more Amos Knights. Oh. See, here I have to actually play the Wind's Requiem. You'll see these pop up from time to time. This might be something important. At least I hope it is. Well, it, a treasure chest has awakened. Okay, that's something important. Bombs. Set my bo bow and bombs. Right here. Oh, the other one exploding actually set off my bomb. I think it did anyway. That target really does make them look weirdly cybernetic. I mean, we know that Armos are usually magic technology of some kind. But they just look neatly cybernetic like that. What's this? What is this? Oh, that wait, that's our other treasure chart. That's weird. It's not in the usual chest. Alright, so look, I really do just sort of I want to try and get through this as quickly as possible. There's another doorway over here. I sort of remember this one. That was spectacularly bad. Okay, Deku Leaf, because that'll get rid of the... the bubbles. Platform. And then we need our bot. Our bot. Don't know why I've still got the sail. Just a little low. Finally. So that 
that leads to a chest. So up here we get something comparatively basic. Oh no, we get a key. Right. How do I make that one? What? I. What is my accuracy sometimes? Honestly, the strange things I wind up doing. And this should. I wasted all my time for. Jump to it. And we got... I feel so cheated. I... feel very cheated. I wanted to explore, and I feel very cheated. I am... decidedly upset. Come on. Please... Will you... Please climb the ladder. It's one thing that has been annoying me throughout this, just the finickiness of climbing the ladder. Okay, so Amos... So, I should... No. So it appears that Link... Okay, so that actually appears that Link is capable of lifting his own weight if we assume... Yeah. So these Amos are apparently as heavy as Link. Despite his fairly scrawny appearance, Link is capable of lifting his own weight, which is fairly impressive when you think about it. Well, we did need to go in there and get that key. But it's a little sad that the Joy Pendant was the other reward. We're so close to the end. Alright, lasers! Will the command melody reach? Let's uh, let's at least see. Come on. Can we possess a statue from long range? Right. Okay, so This is here for a reason. Of course it was. That's actually a pretty innovative solution to the puzzle. Quite a nice approach to everything. But of course we're stuck here. Not for long, though. Because statues are immune to lasers. 
However, the lasers still wind up going through our body, so we can't just block it. Which, I'm going to be honest, is slightly disappointing. So, let's get away from that buzzing noise. Oh, Toucan Sam, clear off! You know, I'm really finding myself missing Breath of the Wild right now. So I'm probably going to need three Armos on one of these. That was almost stylish. Because... Oh, we do not do precision movement very nicely. So I'm probably going to need three Armos. I might as well chuck all of them on there just to make absolutely sure. Nothing. And nothing, so let's throw some Armos. Three should ideally do the trick. Okay, one, two, three, and then we should be good to go. We're nearly there. Alright, good. There we are. Weights and measures. Okay. Let's get you here. Alright, it was planned out nicely. I don't have long to go. I might as well take you to the boss fight. Because we are just about there. We've got all the treasure charts. We're going to find the way to the top of the tower. I'm going to have to deal with a few Beamos on top of that. And our boss fight is pretty impressive. I'm fairly well kitted out, comparatively speaking, and now the statues laser things. The path to the top of the tower has been found. Alright. Away we go. Not too long until our boss fight. Then I can finally ease up. So I've been going pretty long. I mean, admittedly, most of it I was fairly quiet for as far as recording. We... Have to deal with Beamos again. Well, hearts and a joy pendant. Well, there's our boss key. Ah, that's our boss key. Alright, it's dead. So, I presume by opening... By opening the way to the boss key. Once we get the boss key, we'll probably have to kill those armors. I know how this goes. At least got a few more arrows. Now, the boss is an interesting one because of the way you approach it. It's a test. So it will give you more ammunition if you run out. There's our boss key. Now, if I'm right, we should be fighting those Armos, and that will open the door. There we are, our big key. Yada 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 roll. Yep, thought so. Two for the price of one, not too shabby. Right. Do I just get bombs? Bombs and arrows. Okay, we're pretty well kitted out. Let's get to the outside of the tower. It's very rare... Oh, not you. Not you. I'll put the boomerang on Zed. Okay, so we get a nice view of outside and we have to use... Oh, 
this the one I wanted to take out? Right, so you have to hit Beamos in that sort of eye bit. You can't just blow them up. You basically have to bait them into shooting... ...into shooting the bomb. And I've never worked out how to do it without getting myself shot. So I'm just going to deal with that. Yeah, I have never ever worked out how I'm supposed to get past those ones without getting myself shot. You, fortunately, I've got a lot of health. Might be able to sneak past that one. Yep. No, I wanted to keep a fairy in a bottle. Ten bucks. Okay, so I've got all my equipment. It's time for the boss fight. And this is a corker. Let's go. So, we can see something is set into the wall. There's sort of electromag- something electromagnetic down there. That will electrocute us if we step on it. Run into the centre of the arena. You have done well to find your way to this place, O oh, Chosen One. Accept this final challenge. Couple of hands. It's the Irox. Or, more accurately, it's Cybernetic Bongo Bongo. Welcome to the fight with Godan, which would be echoed by Mazal in. Uh... Wait, that's. It would be echoed by Mazal in uh, Minish Cat. And you get some amazing music. That gorgeous harpsichord. Whoa, when it starts looking like that, run! Avoid the machine gun fireball. And when it shuts down... Get bombs into its mouth. Then it, everything will activate again. Shut it down and go for the eyes. Man, the animations for Godan and the music look so cool. This is just an amazing boss fight. I remember just being so... So st stunned by how cool it looked when I did this all those years ago. It's got such a neat atmosphere, that wonderfully cybernetic Magitech feel to it all. Annoyingly, you have to be particularly careful. That said, if you do run out of ammo, because he's testing your, your skills, You will usually wind up having to get some ammunition sneezed out for you. Ah, oh, he keeps baiting me just as I'm about to... So yeah, you can see he snorts out some... Oh, 
snorts out some boogers, and then that should do it. Whew! Like, it's not a super challenging fight. The path can now be opened. O oh, chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate to the path you have chosen. Go forward with caution. The pathway opens up to whatever is coming next. Godan retreats to its mountings and sneezes out a heart container. But seriously, like, it's got such a good atmosphere. It's a really well designed fight. It just looks entertaining. It feels like a Zelda boss. And that beautiful blend of magi tech into everything is just so good. It's a lovely precursor to the rest of the series. It's homage nicely by Mazal in Minish Cap. So here we are at the top of the tower. We've got a few last things to do. Right up here. Let's ring the bell. An appeal to the heavens as it were. Haha. <laughs> Chimes ring out. And a ring of light opens on the ocean's surface. Somehow we're down there. You have done well, Lunk. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero, even if you are an idiot. But this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first step into the world beyond the ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Are you ready, Lunk? In we go. And that's it, that's the end of the game, we're dead. No, those sort of fake outs are really cheesy. It's trippy, but we're... we're sinking, but we're not... Can't hold our breath much longer. Wait, hang on. We're not suffocating. Down we go. What's going on? The Hyrulean Crest. A castle from long ago. Frozen in time. Welcome to Hyrule. You are probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there is not enough time to me explain for me to explain it to you now. Once you are able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, all will be made clear to you. Trust in my words, see what awaits you in the castle. And that's going to have to be done in the next one because I've been at this for a long time. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, this is Red 2, returning to base.